know me really well. Yeah. So you know my yeah. personality. And I'm as obsessive as they come. So once I got my first sale, mm. it, was, it was over. Mm. Um, within about eight months, I had done 1,500 calls. Like just completely lost my mind. Obsessive. Yeah. Uh, and what I realized is that the things that make you a good copywriter make you a really good like salesperson as well, because that's like the the secrets of persuasion. Mm. And you're not writing it now; you're speaking it. Anyways, um, there's a lot we can go into on this <clears throat> from a background standpoint or whatever. Um, but the first time that I closed a ten thousand dollar deal, the first time I closed a twenty thousand dollar deal, it just I was like, can I close a fifty thousand? Can I get a hundred thousand? Um, and I remember my first salesperson ever that ever came on the team. His name was Tavius. And, uh, and I was getting a haircut in Memphis, Tennessee, saw a Stripe and notification come in and I had made like six or $7,000 without being on the phone. And I was like, dude, I'm rich. <laughs> this is it. I'm the king of the world right now. Yeah. Like I finally figured out how Mark Zuckerberg did it. <laughs> this is it. I'm in. I'm retired. This is how they did it. <laughs> Little did I know that like Tavius would quit in like three weeks and then I'd have to replace him and then rebuild the team and then that team would quit and I just didn't know how to lead. It's like with the gift of hindsight, it's like, man, I was so stupid. Uh, but in the moment, you always are like, you, you blow out your expectations because you get so excited. There, I found out there's a lot of, a lot of work in building and leading sales teams that I had no idea about. Mm. But the process was fun and it was exciting and it's probably too much detail, but that's how it started. 